Hey there everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft episode. And today I'm going to introduce a few projects um, just to get started with. Um, so I'm gathering some materials right now for them in this uh, shulker box. I got a bunch of sea lanterns, I got some deep slate stuff, some glass. I'm actually waiting for uh, some green dye to finish, finish cooking. Um, I also need a bunch of this stuff. Because it's going to require a lot of this. The cobbled stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just going to throw them in there right now. Oh, and it's full. Okay. I probably still need a lot more resources. But yeah, I'm just going to grab... Oops. I'm going to grab a few resources. Uh, we're inside Akilo's building right now. This is where a lot of our resources are. Just because he's been building. And I've kind of been helping him. So if you remember last episode, I was digging a hole. Well, this is kind of what happened to the hole. I mean, I guess you can't really see. I guess we can go down real quick. So it goes all the way down there. There's just giant thing in the way though. It's a, a slime farm, as you can tell. Already saw some slimes. You can see them dying right there. Um. So yeah, that's uh, what I've been doing while I was away. I mentioned it last episode that I have been playing Minecraft, and this is basically what I've been doing. Um, but we're going to start working on projects of our own now. So we're going to get out of here. I'm just going to finish grabbing some materials and I'll introduce you to the project that, well, I'm not really going to do today, but just the projects that I have in mind. Okay, so my inventory is full of stuff now. I got some stone, um, the dye, cyan dye, which is what I need the green for, and a bunch of polished basalt and this shulker box full of stuff, full of goodies. Goes the slime. So the we got two projects I'm going to introduce to you. One of them is new, and the other one isn't quite new. Um, but we're going to go to the end, or not the end, sorry. We're going to go to the nether for these. Oops. So let's just go in here. It's kind of loud. But these projects, um, they're going to be off-screen projects. So I'm not going to really... Wow, that's really loud. I'm not really going to show them on camera. They're just going to be... Uh, Things I do off screen while I'm uh, playing with a kilo and stuff like that because um, I don't really want to start new projects while I'm not recording because that kind of seems unfair to you guys. So, the project that we're going to start today is I'm going to make a nether tunnel. Or, I'm going to not make a nether tunnel. Well, yeah, we're going to make a nether tunnel. But we have these tunnels that go to places. So, this tunnel goes to the end. This one goes over to uh, one of those basalt bastions or whatever they're called, as well as like an ice biome. And then this way, there's no tunnel, but if we go this way, we will head over to the nether fortress. The project that I'm going to introduce is a nether tunnel. Now I've already come up with a design, so I'm going to build it on screen for you guys, like just a tiny portion, and just to let you know that like... That's what I've been doing. So whenever we come to the end and then you see like a fully fleshed out tunnel and you're like, where did that come from? That's just, you know, letting you guys know. And the second project that uh, I'm going to do is not really a new one because I've already done an episode on it, but we're going to make a zombie pigment farm or a gold farm, I guess. And I actually didn't know this, but quite a while back, if you didn't know, Aquilo is the host of this server, um, unlike the last one, which was me, I was hosting it, but because I took like a super long break from Minecraft in general, uh, he's been playing this world, and quite a while back actually, he did bust a hole through the nether roof. So we have access to the nether roof now, which is pretty nice. Apparently he had to use like some weird piston trick, I'm not too sure how it works. But I already came up here, dropped off some supplies, we're gonna do a zombie pigment farm. But you guys already seen it. I'm pretty much going to make the same design that I did in like, I don't know, episode 6 or something like that. I don't really quite remember. Basically from the last world, or the first season, or whatever you want to call it. So that's what I'm going to do. But, uh, hi there, friend. But I'm going to hollow out a little bit of the tunnel real quick, and then I'll uh, show you the design that I came up with. Cool, and I've hollowed out a bit of the tunnel already that I'm going to do. It's going to be 5 wide, of course, because, uh... Two ends are going to be for the walls, and three for the middle. I think it's five high as well, I'm not too sure. But uh, So we're right here next to the portal. I just set up a little workstation here, a bunch of blocks. So 
I'm going to use blue ice, of course. We're going to use the ice roads with the boats, that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't have any rails right now, um, so I can't really do anything with that. Basically, we're going to... Okay, I should probably put on my uh, gold armor. By gold armor, I mean like a gold helmet. Yeah, go away, kid. Okay, that's rude. You want to walk into this? Uh, come in here. I don't want to punch him, but okay, just gonna die. I hope I didn't trigger anybody else. Oh, this guy gave me a gold helmet. Might as well repair mine with this. Cool. All right. I don't know what that guy was doing, but probably put on gold armor at least. Uh, anyways, where was I going? Yes. So, blue ice for the roads and then eventually when I get the uh, gold farm up and running I'll put tracks on here so we don't get anything to spawn then we're gonna go down half a half a slab or half a block whatever you want to call it uh, the reason why I'm using a lot of stone lately is because digging out that uh, that hole in the ground for that slime farm has given us a lot of clean stone and I mean a lot of clean stone so uh, yeah, that's why I'm using a lot of clean stone as much as I can. Oops. Actually, give me this back. Anyways, so that is this part done. Now we need to grab these blocks as well as for this. I need to make some stairs. So along the side here now, we're going to do salt, the polished stuff, we're going to go in a straight line all the way across because it's going to give us a little blend between gray and uh, black color. So we'll do it on both sides. Like that. And then uh, I'm trying to remember how I did this. So I need... Uh, This guy's almost gonna- don't touch me! Oh, why is he attacking me? I thought they were not supposed to attack you unless you're wearing uh... Maybe he's just angry. That guy almost killed me. Um... I don't know why I thought those were fishing rods. Anyways, we're gonna need uh, some of... Where is it? This stuff here. Might as well just make two stacks, cause why not? I also need some fences. Boom. All right, so every I did it in my testing world. I did seven, but I think I'm just gonna change it to every five blocks. Um, so I'm just gonna make this first block. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it doesn't go out one like that. Whoops. Do this. Where's my fences? That's not a fence. This is a fence. Right? Wait, one, two, three, four. No, this one needs to go one over. Yeah, because I want these odd. That way we can put a light. So we go up three each side. Do it on this side as well. And the stairs, because uh, we're using boats, we can't really have this open like this. Otherwise, we're going to crash into the side. So we put stairs on the side here. That way when we're riding the boat, we can't like slide off and like hit the edge here and slow down. I made that mistake in the old world for the, uh, the bridge to the Enderman farm. And then from that point on, so this is what the glass is for. I really wanted to use iron bars for this, but I don't think they look that good. Just being careful here, I don't jump by anybody. Uh, so I'm going to try and use cyan glass instead, but I, I wanted to use iron bars, but I think it was just too much. We're going to use panes, of course, uh, just because I think they look better. So we put panes above this. I guess I might as well continue this here as well. Give me stairs. 
a one, two, three, four, five, and then we put this here. And then these will be panes. The stone, the clean stone, is going to be for any time I have to go over a uh, land without stuff or you know air blocks. Then I'll uh, put stone down. So we have these. They're going to look pretty bad though with the uh, stuff on the side. I might hollow those out. Who knows? Hope those guys don't attack me. And then from here, we're going to do stairs again. Upside down stairs. They don't seem to be, be mad at me. Um, I might do something different here. I'm just going to do this for the time being. Just to give you guys a look. we go. Oh wait, that's wrong. It goes up one more. Please don't kill me. Yeah, so we do two, uh, two rows of glass. I guess this goes up one more. I really should put like something here. Do I have any netherrack? No, of course I don't. Alright. You know, I thought I'd get this done much faster, but uh, it's been a little bit since I've built and commentated at the same time. So this goes up, goes up. Now we put the stairs. And I didn't put a block here. Just like so. So we have the lookout. And then across here, we're going to do... No, there's a gas. This. Actually, I think I had stairs there. Um, or maybe it was just, I don't remember. I might have to change that out. But, we'll grab one of these sea lanterns. And we'll put them right here in the middle. Surrounded on all sides, like so. And that'll be every time one of these pillars show up. And I guess I should probably just do this real quick as well. Do it on this side so I can show you the roof and what the roof is going to look like. Do this, we'll do this, this, this. That's the wrong way. And then for the roof, I'm going to get these polished basalts. And we're going to go up one, all the way across. Like so. So that way it gives us this nice looking pattern across the ceiling. I hope that makes sense. Uh, and it'll be like that, like another section added on. Uh, I might just do one more section just to show you what it looks like. Alright, so I've added two more layers to it. Or segments, whatever you want to call it. So this is how it looks like. Uh, I did change my mind and made them 7 blocks wide instead of 5. I think it's just a little bit too crowded with 5 blocks in between. So these little glass sections are 7 wide. So it goes... And then up here it was a uh, full block. A full uh, deep slate brick block, whatever you want to call it. So this is what it looks like. Obviously there'll be ra rails here eventually. But yeah. Works pretty smoothly. I guess we can test it out right now. Although I don't know how well it's gonna go with these guys all around. But because of the stairs on the side, we're not gonna crash and slow down. So even if we go like, oh, oh. yeah. So even if we hug the wall, the boat's too big to squeeze in between these two little things here. So yeah, I think. I was going to say, I think there's somebody in the boat, but no. Oh, now he went into the boat. So that's what it looks like. Um, let me know what you think. I'm not too sure if I want to keep this here at the bottom, or if I want to keep this, like, full segments, just like that. Uh, I think it looks okay with the brick at the bottom, but I don't know. What do you guys think? And let me know if you do want to see this with uh, some iron bars. I didn't bring any with me, unfortunately. Because oh, we're a little bit low on iron after 
doing uh, the iron farm. Or not the iron farm, sorry, the slime farm. A little bit low on iron, I had to make a bunch of iron golems and stuff like that. But, yeah, I can't really show you with iron bars instead. So let me know what you guys think of this. Um, this is just something I'm going to be doing off screen. So, yeah. And I might change it up. I might do a different design going this way towards the end. Maybe I will make it out of stone bricks or something like that. I don't know. But I kind of like it. It feels nice. I like the um, walls here. Deep slate brick walls. I might tear down the stuff on the side here just so uh, it doesn't look bad. Because if there's nothing on the side here, it actually makes this super flat. But I guess, I think it looks pretty nice. It gives it an extra layer of depth, I think, if there's a block. So maybe I will just keep like some netherrack behind the main poles. But I think the glass definitely looks better without the stuff behind it. So I don't know, maybe I'll uh, edge out the sides, maybe I won't. But yeah, that's the project that I will be working on. Every now and then, but I won't be showing it on screen anymore. So this is the last you'll ever see it. Until uh, we have to take these tunnels to go somewhere, I guess. Anyways, moving on. So here we are back in the overworld. Um, I want to go check out the new swamp biome over here. Uh, probably to end off today's episode and stuff like that. So the new like swamp 2.0 or mangrove roots, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we do know where one is. Oh, I just crashed into the wall. We do know where one is. Um, it's about a thousand blocks in that direction. So I want to go get some of the new mud because I want to make a pathway with the new mud bricks and stuff like that. Basically it's going to do a reverse of this. So in the caves we're going to do a grass and wood border. Kind of typical I know but we're going to use spruce just because it kind of matches the theme of other things around the base. So my idea is for the outside, we're going to kind of reverse the pathway. So I want to use like the brown mud and I'll maybe mix some of this spruce stuff in it as well for the actual path. And because I want to like have horses and stuff walking around or not just walking around, but like being able to ride horses around. That's why we have these like doors and stuff like that. Uh, it's going to be a little bit wide and we're probably going to make like, I don't know, leaf borders and stuff like that something I, i'll figure it out when we get to that but yeah i need some slime balls so we'll grab a stack of slime balls because uh we do need frogs as uh we can make cool lights with them now i do know that much so we need slime balls and i think we need some buckets which i should have some in this poker box here i do okay oops i don't know why the camera freaked out so we're gonna go get some mud and we're gonna go look at the frogs, I guess. It's raining, so I might sleep. Hopefully I can sleep. I don't really want to do this in the rain. Cool, I can't sleep. Alright, looks like we're flying in the rain. Yeah, we gotta go, like I said, a thousand blocks this way. But yeah, for the normal pathways around the world, or not around the world, but inside the little uh, base there, we're gonna do uh, mud bricks and stuff like that, like I said earlier. We're gonna go get some mud, which I've basically repeated like three times already, which is kind of lame, but I'm really bad at commentating, so I guess it's, it is what it is. We got a cool cave acacia thing here. So yeah, we were here before. Um, That's why we know where it is. And yeah, I know we can make mud bricks at base with like water and stuff like that. Water and dirt, I'm pretty sure. But we don't have access to these trees yet, so I'm just going to grab a few of these so we can grow them at home. Yeah. Cool, so we'll go down here and look for some frogs. They should be in this biome, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll grab this one here. I might have to cut if it takes too long to find a frog. Oh, nope, never mind. Let me just grab some of these. Uh, ooh, that was my phone. I don't know if you heard that. Cool, so we got two frogs, or we got one frog, and there's two frogs. Okay, so we need to get them really close to each other. Let me pull out the buckets. I should have done that earlier. Um, one, two, three, five. Let's just make more buckets. I'll make six buckets, I guess. 
bring six home with us. Then I can. Uh, oops, that's not the inner chest. Then uh, I don't know. Maybe we can breed them in a pond at base or something. I know we can make lights with them as well. We need different biomes if I'm if I remember correctly. Why did I open this? Close it, I guess. All right. So we need two frogs. You. You know, follow me. Does this guy see me? Where'd the other guy go? Oh, he's there. Can you get up here? Here, I'll help you. Come. Jump, frog, jump. Yeah, so I know that you need a, a hot biome, a normal biome, and a cold biome, I think, to get the different frogs. Make the eggs. Make the babies. I got XP. Cool. Can I pick this up with a bucket right away? No. No, I can't. And it's turning night, but I didn't bring a bed. If I remember correctly, you can't still touch this stuff either. I think it straight up just breaks the, the eggs. It's not like uh, turtle eggs. Where um, you can pick them up with silk touch. Uh, I guess while I wait for that to hatch, I guess we might as well chop down some trees. Which... Wait, how do you where are the where's the wood to this stuff? Is this the wood? Buddy mangrove roots? Mangrove roots? No, I have no idea. But yeah, I'm probably just going to cut here and gather a few materials and then uh I will see you guys back at base or something, I don't know. We are back at base now, so my inventory is pretty full. I only got two tadpoles because, uh, well, my inventory was full, and I got jumped by a bunch of zombies, which is kind of annoying. Hence the reason why I kind of cut there. That and it took a little while for these guys to uh, hatch. But we only got two. My inventory is pretty full as well. I also collected some uh, extra mud, put it in here. Not a lot, but a few. Yeah, I mostly got jumped by zombies, that's why I couldn't really do as much as I wanted. Um, but I'm gonna take some of these real quick. Uh, I'll throw the slime balls in here and the lily pads and this. I did find some of the uh, the logs. I guess they were higher up. Got some clay too while I was out there. <clears throat> so, let me just break that. So yeah, I want to... I don't know if we have enough time to start the pathway today, but I think I want to make a little uh, pond for these guys. Just to start breeding them up, uh, I guess we might as well do it here, next to this little tree that Aquilo grew randomly, I guess. Uh, I was normally using this area to do a bunch of like redstone testing because it's pretty flat, but uh, we can do it with other things. So I might as well just convert this into like a, a little pond. I'm gonna have to make it like safe for these guys to hang out in, as I'm pretty sure zombies will attack. Well, they'll attack the eggs, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if they'll actually attack the frogs, but we'll see about that. So... Okay. Let's do this, 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 this. I guess we can let it go deep a little bit. Nothing too fancy, nothing too fancy. Just something to uh, have these guys in a little home. <clears throat> Pick up the water, might as well just spread it all around. Oops. I think uh, I probably shouldn't have put the slime balls away. I'm pretty sure you can uh, feed these guys slime and uh, they'll grow pretty fast. Do this for now. It's also turning night. I want to hurry up with this. Um, I really need to get ice. We have packed ice and we have blue ice. What? We don't have uh, an ice tray yet, so we're kind of just doing things with buckets still. I have a feeling this is messed up. Oh no, never mind. I fixed it. Yeah, I really need to get some ice going. Maybe I'll next episode or something I'll take you guys to like the ice biome that we found. Uh, we'll build like an ice tray or something. Cool. So we have a pond. It's pretty uh ugly. Why? It'll do. Um, let's just go sleep. And I'll feed these guys slime balls, because I'm pretty sure they grow up. We're just going to get the normal frogs for now, but I just want to breed them up, get some more, and then I'll figure out 
what I want to do to get the slime, or not the slime, sorry, the frog lights. <clears throat> so we will head back. And I'm pretty sure for these mud, we need wheat. And this farm actually doesn't produce wheat, unfortunately. Um, back when I made this, or not the farm, but back when I did all the minecart stuff in the redstone, there was a bunch of wheat stored in the chest down there. Um, but I guess that's just a product of what happens when it was all overfilled. Because it wasn't actually uh, like going anywhere. All the drops were just despawning over time. So I think the only reason why there was a bunch of weed in there is because, uh, yeah, it was just overfilled and the guy wasn't like doing stuff with it. So I'm guessing that's what happened. So unfortunately we're going to have to build a, a wheat farm to get the, uh, the other mud, packed mud. What was I doing? Hey, yeah, I was getting the slime balls out. I also got some random fish because, I mean, why not? Might as well keep that on me just because. Let's go over here and feed this guy. This is probably all the time we have for today. Okay, feed, feed, grow, grow, grow. I got a bunch of slime balls, right? Or do they eat the whole thing? Um, I don't mind using all the slime balls up. We have like a bunch. Wow, they just ate like a whole stack. Alright, I'm gonna grab some more. Watch them, like, grow up as I'm, like, leaving. Up. Oh. Fortunate. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. I'll grab two stacks, because why not? By the way, this is where all of our mob drops are going. I don't know if I, uh, explained it or anything, but I, I built this off-camera. It's just a, uh, so from the mob farm there, fall down. I have, we have it turned off at the moment because we want slimes. But basically, uh, the drops fall, there's a collection thing, the drops go through here. I'm gonna probably just throw something in there right now to show you. I'll throw this in here. We have a little trap door here, if you have mob drops. And they go across this, the cool little lighting system, doesn't really provide anything. And uh, it gets organized in here, so we got zombie flesh, we got gunpowder, bones, arrows, slime balls. This is the newest addition from the new slime farm that I built. And then everything extra goes in here, because we do get witches from this. So we're getting a bunch of random witch drops. Let's head back. Go see if these guys grew up yet. I do hear them. Oh, look at that. So they're going to roam around now, I just realized that. I can't really fence them in, because they're going to... They can just jump out. It looks so whack. It looks so funny. Be really blocked by the, the flower. Alright. Make tadpoles. Alright, I guess I'll just let them roam. I mean, what is that, a zombie? I don't really know what they're gonna do or where they're gonna go. I guess they could roam into the caves. Go oh, over there. Who made. Who ha, who's. I guess you can't really tell, eh? Who has the eggs? Push. You? I'm gonna assume it's you, because you're already walking to the water. No, not you? Okay. Oh, it was you. <clears throat> Maybe I was holding slime balls, that's why. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird, I just woke up. And I wanted to finish this episode. Yeah, look at them jump. So, I think that's all we're about to do for today. We're probably hitting close to that uh, 30 minute mark. So, with that being said, Thanks for watching guys, and I think next episode we'll do more stuff with the frogs maybe, I'm not too sure. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and uh, take care.